TV. Pain is very, very minimal. Um, really don't feel hardly any. I do feel a little throbbing on the incisions. And uh, this is the beginning of the video. Um, please hit the like button and share for me. Hit the like button so that other people with AFib, you know, can see see my experience with it and know that it's not as bad as it seems. Um, so far, so good. One of the biggest surprises is that I thought I felt my stomach jumping, uh, but uh, the doctor said uh, the actual ablation took like 11 minutes. The actual ablation took 11 minutes. That was shocking. Um, but everything else took long. That's what took long. Um, prepping and all that stuff and the mapping and all of that. And if you watch some YouTube videos of the mapping and things that they do, you'll see all about that. But definitely thank you for hitting the like button for me um, and other people. So that's how people find it is by you hitting the like button. And uh, thank you all very, very much for tuning in watching my channel the recovery time is um it's kind of different um it's two days two days for normal i can go back to normal activity um no driving for two days i can drive after two days no lifting nothing for 10 nothing over 10 pounds i think it was nine days what was it nine days babe? nine days nothing over 10 pounds that's fine i'm taking off past the new year so uh but uh i, I could start like lifting a little something after 10 nine days um, but yeah, pretty much that's about it. And, um, I can start back taking my medications and stuff like that, that if I had any, I don't really have any, I just take vitamins and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, enjoy the video. Um, and thank you all again. Thank you all. Peace. Today is the day, gang, folks. It's game day. Going in. The hospital for my ablation. I hope my doctor has his game face on. I am nervous, really, but not that nervous. Like, it's got to be done because a couple days ago I had palpitations in the short. Okay. Huh? What'd you say? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's my mom. She's here, my wife's here. They said two people could come. My, that's my son. Uh, he, he's not going. But, uh, yeah. Hope my doctor has his game face on. This is, uh, I don't know, the third quarter. Oh, this is the fourth quarter game. Because we're going to take the A field. And we're going to put it to an end. Right now, it's time to the game shot in there, hit that button. Um, you know, I, I really I talk to my doctor like that too. You know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, he's he's a he's not a real old guy. He's probably in his mid forties. Uh, not he might be in his late forties, but uh, he's been doing the blazes for over ten years now. So you know, I, I believe in them. They got one before me, and uh, we'll see how I feel when I get out there. But uh, yeah. I get back with y'all when I get to the hospital. Yeah, we're pulling up, folks. Um, I meant to get a, a video of my daughter. Got everybody on there. She was in the bathroom. That's that's my hero. That's that's a warrior right there. My daughter's had like five surgeries, and she's 13 years old. Um. And she's a trooper on every single one. Like, so I don't know. Maybe that's why I thought I was gonna be a whole lot more nervous than I am right now. But I'm really not. I'm not that nervous. I'm just tired, tired of feel. Um, yeah, but I definitely wanted to get my my daughter on there, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, she'll be watching this video later. Cause I'm gonna make her. That's my mom's bright lights in front of us. Yeah. But, uh, that's all I wanted to say was I wanted to get my daughter on there. 
Yeah, they make. Oh yeah, part of the procedure. You gotta take a shower the night before. The morning of. Um, I think that was about it. Uh, well, that wasn't about it. You couldn't eat nothing past twelve o'clock, which I stopped eating at seven last night. So I'm pretty fast. I was hungry. But I don't know if it was hunger or or uh, just thirsty. Cause I haven't drinking any water since probably about ten last night. <sighs> yeah, but we on our way in here to check in. <laughs> Yeah. What up, Quincy? I know you're gonna be watching later. <laughs> we here. We here at the hospital. My cousin, he just showed up. Who is this? This is going on my YouTube. Oh, oh. He actually had some catheters put in him before, so he said it wasn't that bad. No. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we on our way up there to the fourth floor. This is a long way. It was not um, I'm just waiting. They're going to call without no yeah, name. My cousin. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to sell the house. Damn. I'm just about to ask you, is time going? You're going to go to downtown? Yeah. I'm tired, so bro. I'm, I'm ready. Wait, so I'm I ready. waited too long. I'm just and I didn't want to. Ready when they to did, the house get some went good well, sleep. So you got to do two ends. I could have made a lot of money. I'm that ain't fit. Pew, 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 pew. They made me take a drug test. I said, look, if I did any drugs, I'd be in permanent a field. <laughs> I don't do no drugs. But, uh, we thought it was kind of weird. They made me do something. Yeah, I'm just bored, so I jumped back on here. It should be down some, because it's already started going down. Procedure's supposed to start at 11.30. It's almost 2 o'clock, so I guess I got another hour and 50 minutes or so. It is. It is. Wait time. It is. That's why I'm getting rid of that big old right now. At the end of next yeah, year. Yeah, I get back to the next year because we watch. Well, folks, I'm all done. I've been done for like two hours. Starting to feel better. I mean, nice chips. The worst part about it was. Um, that thing in your throat. I don't know how people say that was a problem. I feel like when you have a cold and your throat is sore, that's exactly what it feels like. Other than that, it really is a breeze. Like, it's not bad at all. It's different for some people. Some people say they kick them. It feels like a horse kicking them in the chest. It's not the case with me. Um, it's not bad. Like, I was a trooper all the way up until they got ready to put me under. As a matter of fact, yeah, I was good then, too. But when they took me back to the room, I had dropped a couple tears just thinking about what could happen. Am I going to die? And, you know, thinking about my kids and my wife and all of that. You know, it worked out fine. Yeah. But, um... Once I got back there, my doctor came back there. The, the staff was great. The team was great. And I told the doctor I want him to get me a steak. He owes me a steak after this. And uh, he said he got me. But, uh, yeah, I'm on my way home. So I proceeded at 1130. What is that beeping? Is that somebody else? Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, the procedure was at 1130. And... Uh, no, it, I would say more so 12. It's supposed to have been at 1130. We started about 12. They were down about, what, 3? Yeah, but they took me back at, like, 10. He, my, and, my, and my doctor said the actual, that's why. See, there, this whole thing with me. Um, the doctor said the actual ablation was quick, though. Did, what, what did he say? Did he say 20 minutes? Like, 13 minutes. 13 minutes for the actual ablation. But the entire procedure was like two and a half the hours. The entire procedure was like two and a half hours. The actual blazing was red. I, I was shocked to hear that. Like, wow, you got in there and you got in there and you burn, zip, zip, and got on out of there. But yeah, I like him. If you're in the Lancet, he does them every day. Um, so people say, look for an experienced 
doctor who does them all the time, and that's him. Um, if you're in the Lansing, Michigan area, or the Michigan area, um, look up Sparrow Hospital. You know, um, they just got bought by U of M. Um, so they're, now they're going to be a U of M hospital. You know, and if anybody from Michigan knows, like, the rivalry between the football teams, uh, we don't like each other. But uh, it's all good, you know. They're saving lives, and they uh, asked me that I want to do a st be a part of a study for the doctors with my age and um, how my success goes, and they're gonna use um, uh, all my records in order to help a blazing be faster, more efficient. They asked me if I want to be a part of that. Yes, I want to help everybody. Or, you know, even the doctors, if we can, you know, jump on this AP thing and I can do anything to help, you know, go ahead, you know. Tell my past history and all of that. I don't care, you know. But, uh, hey, I'm doing good. Uh, I, you know, I, I still got a little bit of anesthesia in me. I'm about looking buck-eyed <laughs> with a cross eye. But, uh, yeah, um. I'm going to end this part, and uh, I'm on my way home in a couple of hours, so um, I'll see you guys later. Peace. If I can raise my hand up here, I'm moving slow motion. Bam. Say bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah. I'm on my way home, folks. I have a YouTube channel, oh, so okay. I just updated my people. This is my doctor. Well, not my doctor. <laughs> my nurse. He's pretty good. Good guy. I got some cool shoes on. Um, I feel good. Heart rate is, my heart rate is normally pretty low. I think it was because of the AFib, but right now it's hanging around 83 beats per minute. It's normally around 52. But our wife pulled the car up and uh, she's waiting. She's waiting on me to come through this door. I hope she brought the car around. Yeah. Yeah, it's hanging around 82 and it's normally around 50, 50, anywhere from 55 to 60 beats per minute. And she must want me to walk. Are you close by? I can yeah, it was right there. So oh, there she go. Yeah, there she go. Okay. Well, folks, this part of the journey is done.